Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're comparing these, the ASICS Nimbus 23 against the Socony Ride 13. Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome back to 40 Runs. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, let me know, do you already own a pair of these shoes, the ASICS or the Socony Ride 13? Now, the Socony Ride 13 is my favorite daily trainer of 2020. So I wanted to compare it against the brand new Nimbus 23 and let you know which one I prefer. And so we've got the Nimbus 23 against the Ride 13. Now the Ride 13 was my favorite daily trainer of 2020. It's an awesome shoe, I love it, it eats miles up. But the Nimbus 23 is out, which is hugely popular line of shoes from ASIC. So we're gonna compare the two, and I'm gonna let you know which one you need to buy if you're looking at both of these. Uh, let's start with some of the stats and some of the features, and we'll start with the Rye 13. It's only right because it is my favorite daily trainer of 2020. So this shoe, which has come down in price quite a bit actually, um, you can now get it for under 100 pounds if you go to the right places. It was originally 115 pounds. Uh, it's 8.6 ounces, eight mil drop, uh, power run, midsole, and you've got an engineered mesh upper. Then we've got the Nimbus 23, which weighs about as much as this house. It is over 11 ounces, new UK 9.5. Both of these are UK 9.5, by the way, and fit true to size. Uh, you've got uh, loads of gel in it, uh, which is always good. And uh, so where do we start? Oh yeah, 155 pounds, ouch. Uh, it's got a 10 mil drop for men's, 13 mil for the ladies. They've tweaked it for, for the different genders. I'm not gonna get in too much about that, but basically they feel that ladies need more of a drop. The men, um, engineered mesh upper, you've got loads of overlays. You've got the um, heel clutching system, which is basically a heel counter. You've got flight foam midsole, flight foam propel, so gel, loads of it, it's ASICS as you'd expect. Then you've got the gender specific trussic system which is here. So again, it's different to men versus women and it's all about the biometrics of men versus women. I'm not gonna get into that today, um, but basically they've tuned it for uh, boys versus girls. You've got plenty of rubber on the outsole and that's about it. Actually, talking about outsoles, let's check both of these out. So they're pretty similar actually, aren't they? In terms of uh, rubber and traction, uh, both do a very good job actually and the socket held up well, um, despite everything being thrown at I'm just looking, quite a bit of wear there but in general they've done okay actually in fairness so um yeah like i said earlier they both fit true to size this has got a lot more going on around the heel and it's got the thickest and biggest tongue ever um but they uh, you know they're both designed uh, this has still got a thicker tongue uh, than some of the shoes so they're both designed you know for comfort to be able to eat up miles to be able to do a bit of everything um the, the ASICS has obviously got the gel in it, it's got gel here and it's got some in the forefoot which you can't see. Uh, they've tweaked the, the foam on it which is good, it's a bit softer, it's definitely a bit more um, bouncier I would say than the, the Socony. The Socony feels a little bit firmer versus the um, Nimbus 23. Uh, the upper on this is better than this, this is thicker, uh, this new upper on here than versus the uh, Rye 13 but both of them I would say are warmish in terms of their uppers. They're not the most breathable shoes out there. But again, you know, we're, we're looking at daily trainers here, people, and they're both very good, uh, the uppers. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying there are lighter weight versions, uh, uh, shoes, uh, lighter versions. <laughs> I'm gonna start again. So the uppers, <laughs> the uppers, there's definitely other shoes out there with lighter uppers. That's what I wanted to say. See, this is a problem when you make these videos. Um, you do get your tongue <laughs> tongue tied a lot. Anyway, right, let's get back on it. So, which one do I prefer? Well, you know what? I was, I mean, I said in the video, if you're not seeing it, of the Nimbus 23, that there's other shoes out there. There's more sort of newer, flashier, you know, pacier shoes out there that cost less money. And and for that reason, I would go with the Ride 13. It's gonna be no surprise. There's nothing wrong with this shoe. It's got a great this heel counter stability. It's got loads of foam cushioning. It feels, you know, very traditional and it feels great when you're running in it in terms of, you know, comfort and feel. But there's just, there's just better shoes out there, particularly from ASICS, you know, it doesn't suit me, but the Nova Blast, apart from the fact it looks awesome, you know, offers something much more sort of 2020, more up to date than this. I think th these shoes from ASICS are very traditional and, 
and they've got a place out there, but you know, they're doing such awesome things, Asics at the moment, that there is literally better shoes out there from, from themselves, you know. I've not tried it, but the Nimbus 2 Lite looks amazing compared to this. You know, this is over 11 ounces. Why would you buy a daily trainer? There's over 11 ounces, unless it was the original Glide Ride. I've got Glide Ride into the video. Um, where this, for example, just under nine ounces, people. And you know, <laughs> It does everything this does, but a lot lighter. And that's what you want. And with this shoe, you can definitely pick up the pace a little bit more than this thing. This just feels really cumbersome. You know, it feels quite restrictive in terms of being able to pick up the pace if you want to. If, you, if you're marathon training and you want to do some of those, or half marathon training, some of the element of that longer run at pace, you're going to struggle with this. But with the Ride 13, because it's that little bit lighter, because it's that little bit, I don't know, a little bit racier, you know, it's not a racier shoe, but you know, you can do it. And, and that's the thing, the, the Rye 13 offers more versatility, I would say, than this. This is definitely a more, you know, relaxed, more cushioned shoe than this. Um, but I just feel like it's, it's so like 2015 versus this, which is, you know, still along the traditional lines, but definitely a better option than the A623.